at least more than 3 hours nakatulog si Maria Kay hirap unawain bawat dam damin pangakong magmahal hanggang libing sa langit may tagpuan din at doon hihintayin itong bato sa buhangin bato sa buhangin ay Diyos ko buhay sa daigdig ang buhay ay ganyan mayroong ligaya at lumbay maghintay at nang karaang bukas okay at nang may nakalaang bukas hindi ko ita ano na eh Salamat, nakatulog talaga si Maria. Good singer, so that I don't understand. <laughs> Good singer, only that I don't understand the song meaning. I said, in, in this uh, world, huh? spoken English, ha? talaga itong spoken English. <laughs> The life is like that. Huh? Isulat sa nako be kung unsay mi kuan ani English nako. Sa daigdig. Daigdig. Dili pagpalagay na lang natin no world in this world. The life is like this. There is happiness, there is loneliness. We must wait. And there is waiting tomorrow. And that is no <laughs> split. <laughs> no bleeding. No, I am not a composer. But um, I tried already. I composed one song for the UAE. The country that brings me back to life. Who cuddled me from my darkest time. Who gave me way when I passes by. That lights and brights for who, I, who am I. He gave me strength when I am so weak. He gave me strength when I am so weak because before I, I keep on crying because I have a lot of problems. The force to fight for my children's needs. The wheel of dreams that we're fighting for. That gave us hope out of door. I am fighting the wheel of dreams that I am fighting for, not only for my children, but for my mother, my siblings. My nephews and my nieces and everybody also in my barangay. Now I come to you, you, A, you are my I, you are my I. So you, A, E. You are my I, you guided me through life. They guided me through life. You know why? Because I, I myself and my, uh, my uh, big bro is here. She is, she, 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 she <laughs> a driver also. So we have a lot of problems coming when we are here in UAA. For the first time, I was here. I was already uh, here for seven years, more than seven years. So my sister was in jail here. And thanks. Truly, I really admire 
and salute this country, Abu Dhabi. You guided me through life, ever, wherever I go, in hospital, in school, I was able to uh, lose my work for two months and I, I find, I try to find a part-time job in school. So I am not a teacher graduate. I am an assistant teacher in a school, one school here, Emirates School. And uh, also, I uh, go in hospital, one doctor, but I think she is an Indian national. I will check back this one. So thank you so much, Major Hospital, for uh, taking care of one Filipina who give deliver her uh, child. Now the, the baby was running on the street in Philippines, maybe going back to school. And uh, that was 2015. 2016 I think so after the school I go checking on the jail after working school I check the jail because my uh, sister was jailed sister brother was jailed so why sister brother half woman half man <laughs> <laughs> and they treated my they are happy when my uh, sister was in jail instead of uh, beating instead of they are happy because oh come on this is man or woman <laughs> so very nice life i had here anyway and now i come to you you are my I, this song was truly a beautiful song for me i cannot compose this one without feelings without imagining the life given to me here you guided me through life and now here in this place the love and the embrace the love and the embrace why because i am a single mom of four children i am married i have four children and have been separated to the father of my children how can i survive i am far my eldest daughter was only in grade six at that time when i left in philippines and my uh, la last daughter is just uh, a year. So how can I survive? And then uh, at the time I don't have license. I work as a housemaid. And at the same time I am schooling for uh, driving. I am walking along the street with all the fogs going to school without car because my boss, he was on the... Uh, uh, vacation so nobody can uh, bring me to uh, uh, what is this school even there is a fog I walk along the street I um, try to stop any car can stop me and can help me to bring in the school but uh, thank you so much I survived that time guided me the life and i was in safe and now i can say thank you so much UAA. i have my professionals one my uh, first daughter graduate as uh, accountancy the second is tourism at this point of time uh, i let them stay at home first <laughs> because of covid and the third one, she is around about to graduate as a rad tech, radiologist. Someday, one day, I have my accountant, I have my tourism, I have my rad tech, and my uh, youngest one, she wants to take up engineering. Inshallah. God's willing. So this is a beautiful life I had here in UAA. The life given to me and from the UAA, I work, I gave, try to give uh, help to some other people also. Not only for myself, my children, my family, but to my neighbors. This is how UAA give the beautiful life to me. 
even I had, of course, still I have my uh, own uh, problems until now. But uh, I can say I was blessed more than I asked. So it is right and just to give all the thanks to Emirates and Father of this land. I want to give thanks to the Father of this land, which is Sheikh Zayed Al Nayan. He is known as the Father of this country. It's because of his being um, humble, so humble man and. Uh, uh, like he strive uh, he find try to find a way on how to survive so upon his sacrifices together with his family and everybody who helps him they made UAA as a successful one and of course not only uh, Imarati enjoy the life so how can I come here as a Filipina if they I I cannot work here so they try to import um, human here for working purpose a lot of people coming here to enjoy the life in UAA also uh, a very beautiful story that I need to share that this is life if we go together understanding loving helping dreaming a good life even it is so hard for us we can we can go together in a happy life so look i am not only here as a filipina there are a lot of races coming here sri lanka indian national uh, egyptian uh, what else pakistan Bangladesh, a lot of uh, races coming here to, f to look for work. And when I uh, uh, observe, I notice I just come only more, more on Cornish. Uh, if you can see my videos, Cornish here, here only uh, inside the Abu Dhabi for this time because of COVID-19. But um, even in, in such point, if I look at the building, each shape of building i can say wow this is just this is just a, a simple understanding of mine and a simple happiness that can i that truly i appreciate all the efforts the sacrifices the a lot of um i mean i cannot truly explain upon looking up this oh how they made it especially when i go to dubai dubai also but uh, this abu dhabi is the capital city of uae so if i saw the uh, national flag of uae i feel love so much how can i uh, like here within 24 hours roaming around i'm not afraid i am not uh, scared to go anywhere i am not truly even i am a woman because why people are disciplined of course we cannot uh, please all people here because there are a lot of races coming but government itself have a uh, like uh, 2018 also they give amnesty a lot of uh, expats and uh, out of country people uh, without papers but when well, i have one uh, filipina friend she told me she is a uh, uh, tnt we can call this tnt tago ng tago in our own dialect uh, like they hide and hide it's because of authorities because they don't have papers they don't have anything to show when the police will catch them but alhamdulillah today she worked in good because her paper is already okay 
they paid only 500 dirhams if not mistaken to fix all it was happened maybe 2018 the amnesty given that's why i truly love this country and want to say thanks i never go home crying i always go home like i am so happy when the the uh, airlines will go to the airport and land bringing the happiness with all my smile a feeling that can wow this is i am bringing for my family i never go home crying when i was in qatar i was in jail when i was in saudi i am like a prisoner also when i was in kuwait i was in prison but here i feel home sweet home it is like my philippines but those countries that i was failure i give thanks also they are my strength it is not just because i was failure in that point no i still pray for them and give thanks that still i am alive now i did not go home without life anymore but uh like like for instance in kuwait i was in central jail in kuwait it is not easy to to express the feelings upon coming inside the jail i am not a criminal i go out in my employer's house it's because of uh, an accident happened it is not intentionally uh, uh happened to me uh, intentionally done i mean when the baby was struck when i put medicine to the child's mouth just a one year old baby she was struck of that a uh, liquid medicine so that's the reason why i ran away from my employer because i am afraid that the father will kill me i go surrender to the police station but still i never count this countries that um like like um blaming or whatsoever because in life whatever uh, mistake whatever failures we had we cannot blame anybody except ourselves it's because we are weak it's because we are not that such kind of strength to fight for the failures we had so it does not mean that i was there in qatar i was in jail and i said oh this qatar is so shit like this no i give thanks because why even to anybody even to our family we cannot blame anyone it is destined already so at that time we are so weak that we cannot resist uh, because sometimes i hear a uh, uh here especially now in uh, kuwait another uh, uh, filipina run away so in between this is this is the case i will let uh, let please let me explain truly so that we must to understand everything if a worker and a work a employer and a worker there is a contract given for that so in between the employer and uh, employee the agreement between so sometimes this communication that's the reason also why i am pushing communication so that we can understand sometimes employer cannot understand english and employee cannot understand arabic words this is also one uh, uh main reason why there is a trouble in between because of communication they cannot understand each other it creates trouble in between after trouble it cost big 
um, problem. That's the main reason. Now, I truly, upon my journey in life, I truly understand the real meaning and the reason of those failures that I had. That's why I don't want to blame anyone. I don't want to, to, to accuse that you are the main reason why I am. No. All these things, this thing, and it is a test on how we grow, on how we becoming a fighter in life. Life is fight all the time because it is uh, how can I nose bleeding <laughs> ang buhay ay labanan yun no? hindi yun pasikatan kundi labanan ng it is a fight on how we survive it is not like I, I will be the big winner no on how you survive because shaitan is always there even your close family, even your loved one, can be used to to make you in trouble. This is the work of shaitan. This is the work of shaitan. Even how how peaceful this life is, even how uh, uh, how you love each other, there is a time of weaknesses. It's because shaitan is always there. So we cannot blame anyone. It is on how we overcome our weaknesses. We have to fight. But fighting in like hold your faith. Faith fully, strongly. Hawakan natin yung pananampalataya natin kasi itatry ka talaga kung saan at hanggang kailan ang kaya mong dalhin. So it can be worse, no? It can be worse if you don't know how to manage all of the things. Uh, it's about six o'clock. I will clean two cars now. So bye bye. Thank you so much. Have a good morning. God bless us. A good day for us. Bye bye.